We looked at binary addition now, let's look at binary shifts, another type of arithmetic to do with binary. So this is all about shifting or just moving bits left or right. And when we move them left or right, these are the operators that are often used in programming if you see that. So if this is like um, a, a binary number, then this operator, and then maybe four, that means you're going to do four left shifts. So when you do move them left or right, the gaps that are created are filled with zeros, and that's quite important. And what we're looking at here is technically a logical shift. So I can think of three main types of shifts, but we're only going to look at logical right now. And logical is the most basic one or the most simple one. And so if anyone tells you to perform a binary shift, they mean logical shift unless we specify otherwise. So if this row is our kind of target number and we want to apply a shift to it, so this is 2 in binary and we want to apply a shift to it, basically we're just moving this along. So every one of these is pushed to the side and we fill it in, we fill a zero in the gap created. And a key thing to realize, so this, this zero here has basically got shifted to an empty position. And a key concept in this kind of topic is that you only have limited memory so if it's gone it's gone you have to get rid of it so this zero doesn't really tell us much because it's a zero but it's gone because we've shifted out of our kind of allocated four bits so this is one binary shift and it goes from four it goes from sorry two to four in binary this is representing four this row then if we were to apply another shift to this row so two shifts from the start you can see that now the one, this one has gone to the end and the zeros have come across and we've filled in another zero. I don't know if you can see that's in bold. So again, this zero has been lost. And you might be able to see the pattern here. We are multiplying by two each time because each column is twice the size of the previous one. So if we apply another shift to our last result of eight, we are left with zero because this one has left, <laughs> has left our nibble. It's completely gone. So now we're left with zero. So we've gone from eight to zero. So due to size limits, we can lose data, and that's called an overflow error, where we have too much data for our allocated memory space, and nothing we can do. This, if this was kind of contiguous memory, we had another four bits the other side. That memory belongs to something else. We can't just invade it without uh, you know allocating space for it. So once we shift it out of our allocated memory, it's gone, and that's obviously a slight issue because we are left with something pretty worthless. Same idea for a right logical shift. We are operating on each bit individually and just moving it to the next column and this column, the zeros are filling in from the left. So this is our first number, which is 15 in binary, and we are shifting it to the right. And so we fill in a zero and this one gets left because it's gone now. So this is seven, and then we do, this, we do the same to seven and shift it along again. And again, this one is gone and we fill in a zero and we have three. So this is divided by two, but as I've done here with an odd number, we lose the fractional part. So you can see it's kind of modular division. But again, if we go too far, we end up losing all our data. Let me show you one by hand. So let's say we've got 1101, and let's do a left shift by, let's do three. So in the first the first shift, we need to add a zero, and we just copy across what we are, we've got for pre, you know, the previous one. So one, one, you've got to be a little bit careful with how you do this. So this is shift number one. We want to, we've got two more to do, so we add another zero, zero, one. So there you go. Initially, if you have a one here, you're going to end up with however many zeros as your shift is. So this is 104 in base 10, and this is 13 in base 10. So this whole process, the same as doing 13 times 2 to the power of 3, because we're timesing by 2 as each shift goes along, and we've got... Three, we're doing three shifts, there's three stages here, so that's why we've got to power three. This is the same as 13 times two to the eight. So basically we're doing 13 times eight, which is uh, 104.